Hi, everybody. John Henderson Pierre. The Beer Ramble. Once again. Feeling good on this rare off day. I don't know why. Anyway, today we're looking at Dogfish Head. 90 minute IPA. I've done the 60 minute IPA, so I said, why not the 90 minute? So. 9% ABV by volume. I've done the 60 minute, and I think I've done the Burton Baron, which is their Imperial IPA. Uh, a very good score. I think it's just a 4.06 out of 5 score on Beer Advocate. Ray Beer also gives it a very positive score. Let's see what the beer looks like. Bow, bow, bow! Our continually hop Imperial IPA, whose powerful malt backbone stands up to the extreme hopping rate for a pungent, not crushing hop flavor. That's what it says on the side of the beer right there. You can see it right there. So. Uh, Dogfish Head Brewery, based in Delaware, um, in the United States. Let's see what the beer looks like. Amber, a little reddish color to this beer. Lots of head up top. You know, I don't know whether I consider this an imperial or a um, maybe an imperial IPA or an aborter. I know the Burton Bar the Burton Bont Batten was considered an imperial IPA. So high gravity. That was at 10%. This is at 9 So I guess both of both beers are in the same category. So uh, very hoppy. Lots of sugar cues in this beer. Immediately in this. Hmm. Smells good. Love the hopness of this right here. Down the hatch. Forgive me, you see my lips looking a certain way. I have a bit of a fever blister. This weather down here in the southeast Alabama has been very, you know, tricky. One moment is nice and warm, and another moment is nice and cold. So go figure on that. Exactly. So <sighs> I like the texture of this beer right now. Got this one right here. I'm looking at a little bit more. I like the texture of this. It's kind of going down pretty decent. Easily well. Oh, some raisin. Definitely getting some citrus, but there's very a lot more hop. Abstract, maybe some cascade, mosaic hops in this. Mm, this is loving the color. Again, I'm digging the color of this. It's like a sort of bright red, orangey sort of color in this beer. It's it's really digging. I'm really digging it a lot. Mm. Um, as I mentioned, dogfish. 
been around for a while. Sam Caligione, if I'm forgive me for butchering his name, uh, has really been on the forefront of really putting out some very good craft beers. Uh, this beer I bought for about a dollar eighty nine at Rouse's. Um, for the six pack of this beer, it probably goes for about maybe ten ninety nine or nine ninety nine, depends where you go get it. Um, thank goodness for singles. Yes. Um, very well made. Um, we've been getting a lot of dogfish beers here in the uh, Mobile area, Mobile, Alabama area. Well, Mobile, Alabama, Pensacola area. Depends. You know, Pensacola seems to be a little more advanced than Mobile, Alabama. You know, maybe by demographic or geography, I guess. I don't know. Um, this is, um, a decent, <laughs> screw that, a very, very good IPA. I don't know if I could put this as an Imperial. Maybe it is an Imperial. Again, maybe the 10, I guess, is in the same category as the Burton Batten, um, or the Redankulous by Founders, but I think this is about the same as being an Imperial IPA. Um, sweet, some sugar cubes in this, very malty in this, a lot of lacing as you can see in my glass right here, a lot of foam lacing right there, but, um, this is about as good an Imperial IPA as I've had, and I've had others, the La Freak by Green Flash, or Green Point, I think it's Green Flash is the name of the brewery out of California. I've had the, the Redankulous, again, by Founders. Um, I've had the, the G Knight Oscar Blues, or Oscar Blues Brewery in Walmart, Colorado, slash Brevard, North Carolina. Um, that was good as well. So this is about as good of an IPA I've had. Um, multi, full flavored, nothing off-putting about this at all. I think this is about is a very, very good Imperial IPA I've had. I'm trying to think of other IPAs, but they were very imperial. Uh, Le Freak. Yeah, as I mentioned, Le Freak. Um, torpedo? No, Torpedo's not uh, from Sierra Nevada. I wouldn't consider that as an imperial. Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is a it's quite good. What comes to mind to pair this with, I would say, definitely some pasta, lasagna. Lasagna with a salad and some breadsticks will probably go good with this. Um, like I said, uh, maybe some chicken parm. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of Italiana. Hey, Mambo. A Mal Italiano. Um, who's that? Killy Smith. No. Rosemary Clooney. I might be wrong on who sang that song. Rosemary Clooney or Killy Smith. Hey. So, look it up. I'm sure y'all are going to correct me when I post this video on YouTube. So. Um, I'm going to give this about a... A minus on this one. This is this is a very good I, Imperial IPA. I may not be on that category, but I think it's very, very much up there for me in my view. I guess that's just my view. I don't know about your view, but my view says it's quite good. So A minus for me. Uh, Sam Calgion, of course, he's sort of been in one of the forefronts in the craft beer movement with many others, and um, 
you know, um, yes, a lot of your beers may be priced a little bit higher, but I think it's worth it because I think it's pretty much, he puts out very good stuff in my opinion. So, um, if you ever, depends where you are living within the Northeast, Midwest, out West, if you can get his stuff out West, but in the Northeast, particularly in Southeast, get his stuff, believe me, you're going to enjoy a lot of the stuff that he puts out because it's quite good. So, um, this is, <clears throat> excuse me, um, say an A minus Imperial IPA or double IPA, however you want to look at it. So I'm going to leave that score right there. A plus, so we should be a 9.1. John Anderson, Pierre, the beer ramble too. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. 90, 90 minutes. IPA.